The Kira scorched planet policy changed the way we did things. Go, I said, from my chair on Judge. For now, I was being the marshal and running an attack instead of leading it. But when the devil drives, you adapt. Four hundred and fifty of the new Excalibur Mark Sixes appeared in low orbit and fired on anything that might be a missile platform. At the same time, they each fired off ten mosquito missiles in a pattern that was designed to blanket the planet in a missile shield as fast as possible. Dragons appeared at point-blank range of the ships of the Kira fleet in orbit and slammed into their shields before they had time to fire. More appeared out in the system, and did the same with any Kira ship identified as having weapons, regardless of being military or civilian. Smaller dragons appeared inside the orbital station next to tigers and mowed them down with both heavy weapons and force punches, or killed them by simply biting them in half. Those near the station's hull had at least one Gur rider in each group, and when an errant pulse ripped a hole through the hull, the nearest Gur sealed it before any of the civilians in the area could be sucked out. Their other job was shielding groups of civilians while they tried to hide. More dragons appeared in other stations in case they turned out to be missile or fighter platforms, even though they didn't look like the ones we normally saw. We couldn't trust the look of anything anymore. In spite of the speed of everything happening at once, missiles fired from ships, stations, and satellites, all heading for the planet below. Some fighters launched before the dragons stopped that, but they were quickly destroyed along with their cap by Leanne and Oak at the helms of Judge and Smog. Both flew the two pocket dreadnoughts like fighters, and with the efficiency only an AI could do with a capital ship, simply wiped them away with whatever guns could hit them. The Excaliburs continued firing mosquitoes, as were all of our ships now, and the co-pilots vectored and jumped the fighters towards gaps where missiles might get through, or to what was now identified as a missile satellite. They weren't taking any chances either. Some of what looked like space junk had started firing missiles, so anything that was big enough to fire anything was targeted. All I could do now was watch, and react when needed. A few missiles got through and I vanished them in the upper atmosphere, dumping them into the sun. Screens popped up now showing me dragons on the ground, where tigers were fighting large brown bears. The bears had no weapons, but they moved so fast the tigers couldn't hit them if they missed with the first shot.' 